Hey Ultron, um, just wanted to make a short video and I'm going to borrow a little bit or maybe steal a little bit from one of my favorite YouTubers, Bo of, Bo of the Fifth Column. Some of you have probably seen me post this video. Uh, election day is almost done. The polls in California are going to close for a little bit. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm relieved that it's over almost over meanwhile we still have this pandemic to deal with and after 10 months 11 months depending on exactly where you're counting from there's still no plan to deal with this pandemic we've reached some all-time all-time record high uh, in number in number of cases last week and we still have no plan one well yeah. regardless of who wins the presidential race and regardless of how the Senate turns Democrat or Republican whoever is in charge in January is going to have to deal with this and formulate plans. Number one, to deal with the pandemic itself, mitigate cases and hospitalizations and deaths. Number two, to deal with the economic consequences of it. And maybe that means more stimulus might mean other things but ignoring it hasn't made it go away and you know regardless of the election uh, there was a uh, approximately well hang on a second two uh, there was approximately 94 95 thousand new cases today I don't know how many, oh, well I do know how many deaths, I'll tell you that in a minute. And we still have no plan. And that's inexcusable. Anyway, the toxicity of this presidential campaign has really disturbed me. I think it's probably disturbed a lot of people. Uh, we get one side portraying the other side as the others as if Democrats are the enemy uh, including wild wild rumors things like Democrats Democrats eat children and just wild rumors like that um, not many facts on each side other than, hang on a second, three, uh, kind of a scant amount of facts involved in this presidential race, especially coming from one side. <clears throat> we all saw what happened on Interstate 35 in Texas the other day with the a Trump caravan of pickup trucks that he welcomed, by the way, when he got news of it. Um, but, you know, harassing Biden-Harris uh, campaign bus, uh, more or less trying to either stop it completely on the highway or run it off the highway, depending on perspective, but they did engage in some very reckless behavior regardless that's something that all Americans should call out neither campaign should have that no one's campaign should have that kind of harassment there's more important things to deal with and four uh, there's more important things to deal with like this virus I know they're they're working on uh, working on a vaccine which 
the first round of vaccines is going to be sketchy as far as reliability and everything. We'll see what happens with that. Meanwhile, again, we're 10 or 11 months into this and there's no plan. That's the most disturbing thing to me of all, that there's no plan. That Yes, pandem pandemics are going to happen. Uh, to some extent, they're unavoidable. But we can use science and common sense to mitigate the effects, which we haven't done a whole lot of this time around. Otherwise, we wouldn't have these exploding numbers of cases. And of course, we're not the only ones as far as that goes. Okay. Five. All right, those numbers I'm counting off. Today, election day in America, approximately once every minute and 10 seconds, an American died of COVID-19. We had at least 1,199 deaths from COVID-19 in the USA today. And I think that's inexcusable. It's horrifying, it's inexcusable. It should not be minimized. So far, we've had 237,000 plus. Actually, I think we passed 238,000 today. That's a lot of holes in the ground, as both the fifth column says. It's also a lot of empty chairs at the dinner table. So, before I finish this, if you hang on just a second here got to adjust six one American every minute and ten seconds dying today from COVID-19 on election day we have to do better whoever takes office in January has to do better has to do worlds better than this anyway I'm glad this toxic election is almost over. We'll have a few days of mail-in ballots and all that stuff to deal with. But everyone stay safe. Please mask up. Social distance. Wash your hands. All that good stuff. Please stay safe. Thank you. Have a good night. And peace. Have a good night.